here we go down another rabbit hole. Someone just suggested a video to me that I've never seen before. So there's a video by Household Hacker that has several million views. We're going to turn milk into a hard plastic nearly as strong as stone. In his video, it looked very simple, but a lot of times videos don't show everything. Yes, someone will comment about how wasteful it is to use whole milk. So let's just get that out of the way. I am using something in a video that could be consumed by baby cows. Shop time hates baby cows. All right, warm whole milk. 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Watch out, it'll put you to sleep. They always, whenever you can't sleep, they always give you warm milk. I don't, I don't know why. It must be some sort of sleep-inducing narcotic. I've got distilled white vinegar, and in the video he said uh, one tablespoon per cup of milk. But then he added more than a tablespoon. Can't trust these YouTubers. You never know what they're doing. At this point, I would call this milk fairly unappetizing. Every time I do something like this, I always think this is the craziest thing I've ever done in the shop. But really, it's not even close. I mean, like, at all. So, considering the amount of milk that we started with, that's not a huge amount of whatever it is that we're supposed to be collecting. It's hard to tell with the camera up there. There's a tablespoon of it. So I've probably got two, maybe three tablespoons, probably equal to the amount of tablespoons of vinegar that I put in. So now what he said in the video was that we needed to wait for this to dry. I don't see how this becomes anything other than spoiled milk. Um, okay, so I've got my bioplastic here. And um, honestly, it's kind of Play-Doh-y looking. So now what? Not really sure what I'm doing here. Uh, but I do have a mold. It is a three ounce mold. Um, it's for resin, but it should should work for this, I guess. I mean, it's already kind of rubbery. So now I guess I'm just gonna let it dry and see what happens. Now the household hacker said you had to wait two days for this to completely dry. And I'm not saying that his results aren't valid. But I had to wait about 30 days to get to that point. Maybe it's some inferior milk or the vinegar or I don't know what, you know? Or the fact that I did mine in March and maybe he did his on the surface of the sun. I really don't know. Neat, right? Well, what are we gonna do with it? In his video, he hit it with a hammer to prove that it was hard. All right, so there goes 30 something days worth of waiting. Two hammer blows and it's, it's broken. So I can confirm that you can make hard, I don't know if I'd call it plastic, material from milk, vinegar, and thyme. It does in fact work. So I made Two more blanks. And this one has been drying for 82 days. It is one inch squared and six inches long. It is extremely oily. But it doesn't really smell. I mean, it has an odor, but it doesn't stink. You would expect it to just be awful, but it doesn't smell bad. And this other one is the same thing, only I um, I put about five or six drops of red dye in there. So, um, much, much smaller. But I had a little bit left over from the mold. This plus this plus what we already broke equals that entire gallon of milk. If you've never used a kit before, they're all pretty much the same. So this one that we're gonna make is actually a cheese plane. And all it is is just the head of the kit is just the utensil and then it comes with an insert. And so this insert will fit in an, in an 11 32 inch hole. If this was some kind of hardwood, 
you could basically just thread this in, maybe add a couple dabs of CA glue. But since it's a milk blank, we're going to use some two-part epoxy to make sure that it holds. And these have both been sitting in a warm water bath. Makes them a little easier to work with. If you're having trouble, your epoxy won't flow. Let it soak in a warm water bath. We all just want to be pampered a little. All we want to do is give this every chance of actually sticking. This is now the third time I've done this because it keeps just popping out. What an ugly mess. All right, so things got a little hectic there. Uh, basically, the long and the short of it is you can't cut threads in milk. I mean, this is, this is what was left, this gigantic gaping hole. Uh, it's about an inch deep. I packed it full of the shavings that I got off the, um, the lathe, and I mixed up some West Systems two-part resin, and I poured it in the hole. So I'm going to wait for that to completely harden, and hopefully it will bond with the milk blank, and then I'll cut the threads in that. There we go, look at that. So, um, that worked. Uh, threaded, threaded in the insert, it cut threads, it holds, it's good. So this is a mandrel made specifically for this kit. Who's ready to turn some milk? And this is very soft material, so I'm just gonna be using regular old spindle gouge. Oh yes, obviously I haven't used this in a while. Still got crayons on it. I feel like a cheese maker. Oh my gosh. It's like turning Parmesan. I feel like Italian food. I'm um, I thought I was done. I'm really disappointed <laughs> that that happened. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, thought I was done. So, um, I mean, it's still wet in the middle. It's been 82 days and it's still wet. But I can't give up on it. I, I put too much time into it. So, um, you know, I, I, um, I'm really disappointed with um, milk plastic. I think it's, uh, it's not really living up to what I expected, but, um, but uh, I, wanna, I wanna carry this across the um, goal. I don't know, whatever the correct uh, sports metaphor is I, I want to I want to do that so I'm gonna mix up some resin and I'm gonna glue it back together and um, I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna finish just you know you're into a project when milk makes you mad how many other people get mad at milk I'm going to use the lathe to clamp this up and then I'm gonna go inside and think nasty thoughts about milk. So it's the next day, it's been curing, it seems to be holding. Uh, I had a whole plan for turning the handle and making it into a cool shape, but uh, all of that's thrown out the window now. I am just sanding milk with the hopes of getting it off the lathe and finishing the project. Hey mambo, no more mozzarella, hey mambo. Mambo Italiano. I left the bottom. Uh, that wasn't the original plan. I was gonna, you know, make it into a proper handle. But uh, plans change when everything starts falling apart on you. We did it. We made it again. So here it is. It is completed. And it does look cool. I mean, I made milk into a handle. And um, it wasn't easy. And I think that was mostly just because it didn't dry completely which surprises me considering how long it's been drying. And looking at the pictures, it's kind of hard to tell the handle from the Parmesan. They look very similar. I mean, I basically made cheese. Here are the shavings from the lathe, and I mean, it tastes like really bland cheese. It is definitely still softer right now, um, but it's got a nice smooth feel to it. It's not oily at the moment. 
I've made a cheese plate handle out of milk. A special thank you to Rockler Woodworking and Hardware for actually sponsoring this episode. You might have noticed there's been some Rockler products in the videos for the last few months, and there will be more going forward. Honestly, they make great products, and I have zero problem recommending them. Thank you very much for watching. That was an interesting journey. Um, and I also want to thank the Household Hacker for making that video and just allowing, you know, those of us out there who've never heard of it to, to see the process. And it does work. Um, you know, your results might vary. <laughs> and don't forget, I've also got this one. So, I guess at some point in the future, I will do something with this. If you're gonna be a square, you ain't gonna go nowhere. Hey, Mambo, Mambo Italiano, go, go, Joe.